Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you something really exciting. A face recognition based student attendance system. Built completely with Python, custom tkinter, OpenCV, DeepFace and MySQL database. This application is fast, modern and super easy to use. You can register students capture their face and mark attendance automatically just by looking at the camera. No manual work needed. So first, let's see a quick demo of the project. So when you will run this application for the first time, you will see this user registration form. So we need to fill up these details. So let's start by filling up these details. Username, then password, and then confirm password. Now let's capture the face. On pressing the space key, the face will be captured and it says face captured successfully. Now if I try to register, it says password must be at least 6 characters, right? Now registration is successful, welcome Fazan Khan, right? So now we are redirected to the login page and here uh, this is a dual login page so you can either log in manually by entering the username and the password or you can log in using the face so I'll log in with the face so once we'll click on it the camera will be open and you see the match is done once uh, it matches your face you will be redirected to the dashboard page here you will see the count of total students present today and absent today Right. And here you will see the graph of attendance of last seven days. So we have to go to student management. And here initially we don't have any students registered. So we have to add a new student. So this student ID is auto generated. Then we need to fill up the name. So Arbaz, roll number, I'll provide 12, department. Computer science, year, I'll mention first year, email, I'll pass at the rate gmail.com, then phone number, and then I'll capture the face. So face is deducted. Now if I press the space bar key, face is captured but as soon as we will add student it says this face is already registered as user Fazan Khan right so this face was already registered right so we cannot register the same face so what we can do we can cancel it we have to add a new student so let me just quickly fill the details again Now this time I will capture a new face. So this is the new face. Now if I press the space bar key, this face is captured. And now if I add a student, a student Arbaz added successfully, right? So here you can see total students count as one. But as the list will increase, uh, then you can search uh, any student by name. Okay, just enter the name and it will search and then you can also filter it by name, role number or department, right? You can do that. And then if you wish to edit any uh, record, just select it and click on edit selected. And here you can update any details and just click on update button, right? And if you wish to delete any student, just select the record and click on delete selected. It will say, are you sure you want to delete our bars? Yes, delete or cancel, right? So once you have the students list, then you can mark attendance uh, on daily basis, right? So once you click on this mark attendance, it says start face recognition, camera will open for real time attendance marking, press escape to stop, right? So once I press start, so as you can see, it is not marking the attendance for my face because I'm not a student, right? 
but if I ask Arbaz to mark his attendance, you will see. So after all the attendance are marked, we are automatically redirected to the dashboard page and here you can see total students present today, right? And accordingly, you can see the graph. Then if you go to attendance report, here you will see uh, whether the student is present or absent, right? So this Arbaz is currently present for the state. So currently we have just one record, but uh, in future we will have more records, right? So accordingly, we can filter, we can check based on the date, right? If we want to see for 25th, so we'll select the date and accordingly we'll get the result. Because we don't have any result, that's why we are seeing empty here. So if we'll select today, so we'll see the today record, but if we select yesterday, we will not see any record, right? Uh, then we can also filter based on the department. So if you want to see the computer science students, so you can just click on filter and accordingly you will see the result, right? Similarly, if you want to see for other department, select that department and click on filter. But we don't have any record, so that's why we are not seeing any result. Then if you wish to delete any record, just select it and delete selected. And you can also export this data to Excel. So click on this export to Excel and this will export the data, right? Let me show you the report. So here you have it and you can see the result here. And then we have this logout button so we can uh, be back to the login page. I hope you liked it. The source code for this project is in the description. Let me know if you have any doubts. Thank you for watching.